You don't know where you are until you're there. The first race of the season is always like, uh, are you sure you're ready for this? You know, I don't know what's gonna happen kind of thing. But at the same time, the competitor in you kicks in. Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni's presence at an event is always welcome and notable. Even more so this time since she has been away from the sport for a few months because of an injury. But she's now back on track, pun intended, and right on time too, what with the Paris Olympics just a few more weeks away. It has never been a secret that Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni is one of the most popular track and field athletes worldwide. After winning the gold medal at the Tokyo Olympic Games after clocking a world record, she became a fan favorite in the 400 meters. Known for her dominating spirit and fierce competitiveness, she is one of the favorites at the upcoming Paris Olympics later this year. When April came and the American track star was yet to make her outdoor season debut in an individual event, fans became somewhat worried. Unsurprisingly, there was a lot of speculations about the uncertainties of her outdoor debut, but the American athlete made her first track appearance of 2024 at the Mount Sac Relays. Yes, that's right, the American track phenom Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni made her long-awaited return to the track in the latter part of April as a member of a women's 4x100 meter quartet at the Mount Sac Relays in California. The 2024 Mount Sac Relays were held at the Hilmer Lodge Stadium in Walnut, California, United States for three days from April 17th to April 20th. The American hurdler and sprinter returned to the track where she competed in the women's elite 4x100 meter relay event. McLaughlin Lavroni, along with Kenny Harrison, Jenna Prandini, and Moralakia Kinosun ran for the Formula Kersey securing second place behind Team International comprising Dinah Asher-Smith, Rashadat Adeleke, Lene Tava-Thomas, and Julian Alfred. While Team International clocked 42.03 seconds, Formula Kersey followed recording 42.93 seconds. In addition to making her comeback at the event, the 24-year-old was also spotted in a unique and striking running kit. McLaughlin Lavroni opted for a brown kit that featured a long cutout on the left side of her torso and an off-shoulder top on her right hand. She paired the look with a golden watch in beige New Balance spikes. Why does this matter, you may ask? Well, the Sprint star previously unveiled the latest New Balance signature collection, which featured footwear and apparel. The personalized collection featured products that were hand-picked by Sydney herself. For me, fashion is almost like Superman. McLaughlin Lavroni shared in an interview. Track is kind of the superhero uniform, but I also love to dress up off the track. I love fashion. I love being able to express my style, and I also love being comfortable. This collection is who I am in a nutshell. Although track and field is what made her a global icon, McLaughlin Lavroni, who won Olympic gold in the women's 4x400 meter relay and the women's 400 meter hurdles, can also hold her own in the design world. Then, just a few days ago, Sydney once again slipped on her spikes as she competed in her first hurdle race since August 8, 2022. At the recently concluded Oxy Invitational in Los Angeles, she secured the top spot. There, the Olympic champion and world 400-meter hurdles record holder put together two convincing races as she continues her build-up to the Paris Games. Lining up in two races outside her specialty at the Oxy Invitational, the 24-year-old American ran an impressive 100-meter hurdles in 12.71 seconds, six hundredths of a second off her personal best set in 2021. She then followed this with another win in the 200 meters, recording a win-dated time of 22.38 seconds. Not bad for her first individual races of the season, right? Still, some were quick to point out that the mood wasn't quite celebratory with only a few people cheering in the stadium. Hopefully this won't be the case in a few more days when the Olympian shows up for the most anticipated 400 meter hurdles where she'll expectedly make her outdoor event debut in 20 months. As you all know, she announced midway through the 2023 season her withdrawal from the World Athletics Championships in Budapest, citing a minor knee injury. It was through an Instagram post that she shared the news, I'm sad to share that I must withdraw from this year's World Championships meet in Budapest. After consulting with my doctors and coaches, I need to take care of a minor knee issue so that I can be fully healthy for next year's Paris Olympics. I look forward to seeing everyone back on the track soon. 
Needless to say, Sydney is eager to kick off her Olympic journey in Paris with an attempt to relive her remarkable memories from the last Olympics. Just to refresh your memories, she broke the world hurdle mark with 50.68 seconds at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics held in 2021. So, when talking about her Summer Olympics goals, she told NBC News, I just want to be better than I was in Tokyo, improve upon myself. I don't know what event I'll possibly be doing, but just represent Team USA very well. Further adding, Paris is a dream come true. And in preparation for Paris, she recently shared a training video of herself on her Instagram account. In the video, the 400-meter hurdles world champion is seen doing her training on the track and in the gym. From sprinting, hurdling practicing, and balancing exercises to weightlifting, Sydney is seen giving all her strength in preparation with her coach. The video ended with a countdown for the Paris Olympics. The post was captioned, Day by Day. That said, she is undoubtedly preparing for her upcoming races in the coming days, rather than those happening in a few more months. On that note, we can all look forward to her next race in a couple of days. Just so you know, she is provisionally expected to make her first outdoor appearance in an individual event in 2024 at the USATF Los Angeles Grand Prix. Notably, her last individual appearance was at the USATF Championships in Eugene, Oregon on July 8, 2023, where she clocked a world-leading performance in the 400 meters by running the distance in an impressive 48.74 seconds. According to Olympics.com, the American will run her first 400-meter hurdles at the 2024 USATF Los Angeles Grand Prix on May 18th. Just so you know, the reigning Olympic champion has not raced since August 2022 when she won the Gulyan Istvan Memorial. At the event, the American will be up against the former world record holder Delilah Muhammad and compatriot Anna Cockrell. World Indoor Champion Christian Coleman has also confirmed participation in the 100-meter, with Gabby Thomas and Abby Steiner set to compete in the women's 200-meter. Needless to say, Sydney is running towards being a part of the U.S. team for Paris. In fact, the 24-year-old is now excited to get her first Paris 2024 Olympic season in gear as she looks to reproduce her magical moment from Tokyo 2020 when she lowered her world record to 50.68 seconds. After all, proudest moment of my career was Tokyo 2020, winning my first gold medal, accomplishing my childhood dreams. Talking about the Olympics, many are wondering about which event Sydney McLaughlin Lavroni will be competing in. Well, what we know so far is that she focused on the 400 meter flat event last season. In fact, even amid an injury riddled year, she has already become the 10th fastest woman all time in the 400 meter flat event and is close to the U.S. record of 48.70 seconds set by Sonia Richards Ross in 2006. But, as you all know, she has been a 400 meter hurdle specialist for much of her life. Should she attempt the 400 meter flat, her top competition would be two time defending Olympic champion and 2022 world champion Shanae Miller Owebo of the Bahamas, as well as Tokyo silver medalist Mara Lady Paulino of the Dominican Republic. If she competes in the 400 meter hurdles, on the other hand, U.S. star Delilah Muhammad and Dutch woman Femme Kabol would be McLaughlin Leveroni's top competition. What we know for sure is that Sydney is once again ready to exhibit her dominance in the sport. Do you think this athlete will do too?